Brown University alum are speaking out tonight about hearing that the school's popular radio station could be sold. We first told you about the sale on Friday, and now former students who once ran that station are petitioning to save it. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us now with the new details. Well, there has been a lot of reaction to news of this sale on social media. People upset that WBRU could soon be disappearing from the FM airwaves. And now some alumni are taking matters into their own hands. It's at 8 p.m. They're free of the broadcasting over the FM airwaves since 1966. Man, you heard it first on 95.5. But now it could be radio silence for 95.5 WBRU. The station is a critical part of the Providence and Rhode Island community. Brown grad and former WBRU program director Bill Lichtenstein started the website SaveWBRU.com last week. He's hoping to rally together supporters and alumni to stop the sale of the FM signal. This is the first time uh, in the last few days, I think, that it's really become clear to the public that this could really happen. We've learned the sale of the signal is in negotiations and BRU going off the air could be imminent. If the sale is finalized, WBRU would be an online only station and Lichtenstein worries about the impacts on the community and on the students. You know, the governor's office returned calls to students who were doing reports. If this is a podcast and not a radio station, well, record companies you know, send major groups up to perform live in Providence. And I, I, I'm not sure the sense of that is fully understood. BRU cites finances as one of the reasons for the sale. The nonprofit group Brown Broadcasting Services owns the station, and Lichtenstein says like any other nonprofit, they could seek donations and grants. He hopes the community can show support and get that message through before it's too late. I think it's important that people in the community, you know, speak up. And we did reach out to the spokesman for WBRU. He says they've already considered things like fundraising and grants and says those are not viable options. However, he did say if a viable option was presented quickly, they might reconsider the sale. But he said right now negotiations for that sale are continuing. I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.